So, solo leveling. Is it as good as I thought it was going to be? Honestly, so far, yeah, it is. One of the things I love the most right now is that they decided not to speed through the story. Pacing feels just right and not rushed in any way, which is surprising as most other webtoon adaptations we've seen so far have sped right through the source material, which made for a bad experience overall. So I'm glad solo leveling is taking its time to build up the story and actually make it good. But let's get into specifics onto other reasons why I think this show is good. This series definitely does the overpowered main character trope right. Jinwoo is someone who started from the very bottom, and although he was handed an ability that allows him to grow in which most people don't have that luxury, he still worked hard for his growth, and we get to see that on full display. He works out every day, he takes on dungeons to grow stronger, he does everything he can to make sure he is no longer a weakling like he was before. On that same note, I like how Jinwoo hasn't just overcome his trauma immediately after becoming stronger. It's still something he has to deal with on a daily basis. Every time he fights an enemy stronger than him, he gets a flashback to the day he almost died, and he recoils for a second. But as he starts to defeat stronger and stronger enemies, he is slowly overcoming his trauma and his weakness in a really well-written and compelling way. Speaking of overcoming his weakness, the way that they show his growth throughout the series so far is really well done. It's both slow and fast at the same time. He has come such a long way in such a short amount of time from where he was, however, there's still so much more he has to do. Not only was he physically weak, he was also mentally weak, and that is a barrier he is struggling to break past so much more than anything else. He has to work to improve his mental health and overcome everything from his past if he truly wishes to be strong. That is what is going to separate Jin Wu from other protagonists. Willpower is something that not everybody specializes in, however, Jin Wu definitely does. He may have been the weakest hunter at the beginning of the series, but he always had insane willpower. He has used that willpower to overcome many situations and to never give up. When he was the weakest hunter, he would barely scrape by in the dungeons, always coming out extremely injured with nothing to show for his efforts, but he would still never give up. He knew this was his ticket to protecting his family, so he did what he could. After having the ability to level up and grow stronger, he has used his willpower to carry him through and to help him push past his previous limits. He keeps growing and growing, and he will eventually overcome it all and be the strongest thanks to his insane willpower. Jin Wu pushes through a lot of things in this series in order to become stronger, and he has a reason for that. He has a family he wants to protect. He worries for his little sister and tries to make sure that she's okay, and his mother's in the hospital and needs her medical bills paid so she can survive. So Jin Wu pushes himself surviving and growing stronger. His family is what drives him and pushes him to be better. Without them, he would have probably forever stayed a weakling, just barely making it by. But thanks to them, he can grow and survive and live a good life making good money from the dungeons. Dude, the animation in this series is godlike. It is from A1 Pictures, so it isn't too surprising, but they did such an amazing job at every single scene in this anime. Especially the action scenes, like damn are those scenes good, seriously incredible. So the leveling didn't really surprise me with this animation, as I assumed a show with this level of hype behind it wouldn't get shafted on its animation at the very least. So we haven't met that many characters in this anime just yet, but I like the ones we have met so far. I think they're pretty interesting, especially Jin Wu, the main character. His development throughout the series so far has been really well done. I have talked about it throughout this video, but the way he went from a weak, cowardly kid to the strong, badass man who doesn't really take no shit is really cool. Some of the side cast is pretty interesting so far. Jin Wu's sister has this bubbly personality that makes her fairly likable even though we haven't seen much from her yet. Ju Yi so far I really like. She is a kind person who doesn't discriminate against strong or weak people, she just heals people as it is the right thing to do. But her main draw is that unlike Jin Wu, she is the opposite in how she handles her trauma. She was never much of a fighter anyway, despite being B rank, she never took on dungeons that were above C rank. But after the incident in the first two episodes, she couldn't recover from it as we've seen so far, it is causing some problems around the country as she is a pretty good healer and having her out of commission has made some missions a lot harder. Juhi is such a good example of how most normal people would deal with their trauma. Most of us aren't the type of people who can bounce back and be even stronger from trauma all on our own. We either need someone to push us or we just won't recover at all. Some of the other characters that we haven't seen anything from but I'm excited for their future are the S rank hunters. Those guys seem super interesting. I want to see their reaction to Jin Wu at some point as these guys are the current strongest people who will eventually be surpassed by Jin Wu. The characters are quite literally the best part of this series. Now I know I say that with every series but it's almost always true. And especially here, although the action is insane, the characters are what make it insane so I can't wait to see where they go in the future. So the leveling has actually surprised me. I genuinely thought going into this that it was going to be like every other power fantasy series where the main character just gets stronger and gets all the girls without having to really work for anything. But I was wrong, Jinwoo works extremely hard for all of his power-ups and upgrades and we get to see his development firsthand. And that makes the story way more compelling. Solo leveling is just a good show to watch with good action as well.